Hello, I'm Anthony Vassalo, Senior Underwriter Onshore and Interim Head of Energy and Construction for Regional Unit London at AGCS. Hydrogen is predicted to play a leading role in the energy transition with the green oil of the 21st century increasingly promoted by governments worldwide. As an alternative to fossil fuels, it could be a valuable tool for tackling climate change in the future, helping many industries to reduce their CO2 emissions. In this latest issue of Broker Beats, we'll look at the findings of AGCS's latest risk bulletin, which highlights some of the opportunities and challenges of a trend at the forefront of the energy industry and also assesses the risk environment for technologies associated with production, storage, and transportation of green hydrogen. Hydrogen, produced from low carbon or even renewable energies, is of growing importance for the substitution of fossil fuels in the fields of energy, supply, mobility, and industry. It is widely available, with its main advantage being that it only emits water when burned, and it can be produced without releasing CO2. Hydrogen can be stored, liquefied, and transported via pipelines, trucks, or ships. Ultimately, it could help several hard to abate sectors such as the steel, petrochemical, and cement industries to decarbonize and reduce CO2 emissions, while even buses, ships, and trucks could also run on hydrogen in the future. Hydrogen offers several options for the transition to a renewable economy as an energy carrier and storage medium for conversion back to electricity, as fuel for all means of transport and mobility, and as a substitute for fossil hydrocarbons in different industries, such as steel production, petrochemicals, and refineries. Driven by climate change, the possibilities of energy storage, use as a fuel, and the long-term intention to replace reliance on coal and oil Many countries around the world have already launched significant hydrogen funding programs. As of the beginning of 2021, over 30 countries have produced hydrogen roadmaps and government worldwide have committed more than $70 billion in public funding. Such government initiatives means that project activity is picking up speed around the world. There are more than 200 large-scale production projects in the pipeline, and if all projects come to fruition, Total investments will exceed $300 billion in hydrogen spending through 2030, the equivalent of 1.4% of global energy funding. There are various methods by which to produce hydrogen. These can be divided into two groups regarding the fuel to do so, fossil fuels and renewable sources. The vast majority of hydrogen today is currently made from fossil fuels. The different types of hydrogen production are green, generated using electrolysis powered by renewable electricity, blue, production is based on fossil fuels but with CO2 emissions captured, gray, made using fossil gas with no emissions captured, black, made using coal, brown, made using lignite, turquoise, Heat is used to split fossil gas in a process known as pyrolysis. Purple, pink, or yellow, electricity and heat from nuclear reactors could both be used to produce hydrogen, but there is no widely agreed color for such methods. Many of the technologies used for the generation of hydrogen or energy from hydrogen are well known in principle. Today, the vast majority of hydrogen is produced and used on site in industry. What is new is that the type and scale of its adaption is changing fundamentally with the expected rapid growth of plants in future. From a technology perspective, the following operational risks are a primary focus. First, fire and explosion hazards. The main risk when handling hydrogen is of explosion when mixed with air. In addition, leaks are hard to identify without dedicated detectors since hydrogen is colorless and odorless. A hydrogen flame is almost invisible in daylight. Industry loss investigation statistics show approximately one in four hydrogen fires can be attributed to leaks with around 40% being undetected prior to the loss. Second, material embrittlement. Diffusion of hydrogen can cause metal and steel especially high-yield steels, 
to become brittle and a wide range of components could be affected. For example, piping, containers, or machinery components. In conjunction with embrittlement, hydrogen-assisted cracking can occur. For the safety of hydrogen systems, it is important that these problems are taken into account in the design phase. Finally, business interruption exposures. Hydrogen production or transport typically involves high-tech equipment and failure to critical parts can result in severe business interruption and significant financial losses. In addition, business interruption costs following a fire can significantly add to the final loss total. For example, AGCS analysis shows that across all industry sectors, the average BI loss from a fire incident is around 45% higher than the average direct property loss. And in many cases, the BI share of the overall claim is much higher, especially in segments such as oil and gas. To date, standalone hydrogen projects have been rare in the insurance market. However, AGCS has been covering hydrogen production as part of integrated refining and petrochemical facilities and as part of our industrial gas programs in our property book for many years now. Given the growing number of projects planned around the world, insurers can expect to see a significant increase in demand for coverage in future, especially for construction and operation of electrolysis plants or pipelines for hydrogen transportation. This has the potential to be a notable new area of growth for energy insurers. With any energy risk, fire and explosion is obviously a key peril. Business interruption and liability exposures are also crucial to consider. Similarly, transit, installation and mechanical failure are important risks. In response, AGCS is developing a more detailed underwriting approach for hydrogen projects, ensuring that we can serve our clients and brokers globally. We are already tailoring our product capabilities for this new segment and looking to offer cross-class solutions such as joining energy and construction, marine and liability coverages for smaller hydrogen facilities if there is demand for a cross-product offering, as we currently do in the onshore wind and solar photovoltaic segments. There is rightly great enthusiasm around hydrogen solutions as a key driver towards a low-carbon economy. While we must acknowledge that these projects involve complex industrial and energy risks, they present opportunities for our industry where our high levels of engineering expertise and insurance know-how can lead to solutions and coverage needed to help unlock hydrogen's potential. For more information, visit our website to download the full Hydrogen Risk Bulletin and find out more about our energy and construction insurance solutions. Thank you.